it is something called the Monday. I am at home. I'm about to go swimming with Emily, and my face looks so much thinner. Oh my god! Joe, I can't believe it. Like, see where I'm at at the minute. Like, I'm in size 12 jeans. I have been in size 12 jeans in ages, and I'm wearing like a bodycon kind of top. I haven't felt confident enough to do that in ages. But you know when you're just like, right? I feel so good. Um, like when you and you're just like, I feel so good. And I think a lot of the time, especially with women, society and kind of like people tell us we should be humble. And yes, of course you should be humble and like be grateful for what you have. But we are kind of conditioned not to appreciate or not to vocalise our own achievements. And I just say, fuck that. <laughs> I feel brilliant. I am so proud of myself for how hard I've worked, like especially this week. Like I've lost over a stone and a half now. I need to actually wait for Eddie and I would have lost that. And um, I went like did six gym sessions in four days last week, and yeah, it was hard, but I loved it. It really like it really did make me feel amazing. I felt invincible, and I cannot tell you what it does for your head, what it does for your confidence, what it does for your mental state. Like I feel the best I felt in months, and that's amazing. And I'm just absolutely buzzing with where I'm at at the minute. I just kind of like, right, okay, I've got a couple of goals, I've got a couple of things in the pipeline that I have coming up that are so exciting that it's off, off the back of day start some money that I never thought would have come off it. And I'm just like, I'm just having this moment where I feel so grateful for everything that I've achieved, so grateful for how much progress I've made. Like, I am so happy right now. Like, there was a time not too far away, it was relatively recent. Where I was, I genuinely thought I'd never be happy again. I really did, and I thought, you know what? I don't think I'm ever going to get back to myself. And I now, in the last since I started this, I have felt more myself than I think I've ever felt, and I feel so happy most of the time. Like 95, 97 percent of the time, I'm happy, and like, and even whenever I'm not happy, I'm still smiling. Like, do you know what I mean? Like. A thing I'm able to put things into perspective, compartmentalize, and realize right, okay, the things that would have annoyed me before aren't a big deal. So that's what I've really noticed, and I'm so excited for things that are to come. So I'm actually had to check what week I was in this week. So me and Amy have just come swimming, and I'm absolutely buzzing because I would never have like worn a swimsuit in public, but now I am. It's Tuesday of week 18. Me and Amy are in the gym. We're gonna do stairway to hell. But we decided we're gonna do it twice. So that's going to be, like I'm actually scared. I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> Just finished round two in the Stairmaster. I'm actually sweat running down my face. Like actually running down my face. Oh God. So, making an omelette before work. I am absolutely starving. So I'm going to put a can of tuna and a bit of feta cheese and four eggs in this and we'll put before I head down to Hi, it is Tuesday no it's Wednesday afternoon of week 18 I am just walking down to Brooke Park to meet a photographer to get my photo taken for Sunday Life newspaper which is amazing I'm so excited so hopefully by the time this vlog goes up it will be out and it'll be all over social media and you can see it which is great and yeah there's a couple of really exciting things coming in the pipeline that I had no idea that would happen but here we are and yay Thursday of week 18. We've just finished a wee back attack session in the gym and I am going home to eat some food because I am starving. I have not stopped thinking about a chicken box from Palos since last night. I have never even had a chicken box from Palos in my life, but I just want some shredded chicken and barbecue sauce. Hit this! <laughs> but I'm not going It is um, Thursday. I can't, because of my holiday, I keep forgetting what day it is. But it is Thursday of week 18 and I'm just walking to work. I'm going to go in an hour early because I've got so much to get done and uh just need the time so i'm gonna have breakfast and work today and i am going to buy some bagels good night because i was always kind of like right keep your carbs low and it had been working for me um but uh, after consulting with a pt a girl i went to school with anya powell her name sure she was anya hazard but she's got married congrats babe um anya powell she's an absolutely amazing personal trainer and um she worked out, very kindly worked out my macros for me because to be honest that is great to me and it just goes straight over my head. So she says I'm allowed 25% fat, 35% protein and 45% carbs and more carbs is A-OK -okay with me. So I've been taking her advice for the last week and uh, really 
It is Saturday morning. I am down in Mummy's. I haven't been home for a few weeks and I love being at home sometimes. The usual stalker is here. Hello, Petal. He's had his first haircut and he looks so cute. So this is Saturday morning's breakfast now. Like I said, I've been eating more carbs. Of course, you're straight in there, right? Oh my God, back off. But this, like I said, I've been eating more carbs. I've been <laughs> working with a this trainer. I've the plate on the table and this is what I'm dealing with. Look at that. Look at that. Get to France. No. <laughs> No, you're not allowed it. Um, so I've been working with a trainer and she's sorting out my macros, so I have them all set up to fitness pal and this fits my macros perfectly. Admittedly, it is quite high calorie. It is a wee bit high. <laughs> it's a wee bit high in fat and carbs. It does use up of some of your um, allowance later in the day, but if you're training, it's fine. Um, what I've noticed is definitely since I started eating higher, like more calories, she increased my calories to 200. I do often have trouble hitting that. To be honest, if it was 200 calories of pizza, that'd be no bother. But if it's 200 calories of real food, um, I do often have a bit of trouble hitting that. So, uh, <laughs> you're not hungry, you're gonna eat my hand. Um, I do often have a bit of trouble hitting that, so this definitely helps me get those up. Um, so what it is. So what it is, if Milo would let me show you, is a bagel. I prefer the sesame seeds, but there's no sesame ones, but there was no of those left. So um, about 50 grams of full fat cream cheese. This is oriental chicken from Tesco. You can use any chicken or even tuna if you like. And obviously hot sauce because I'm a- I have put the macros here for that breakfast. Um, so it's really, really, as you can tell, it's really tasty because this little chap just won't stop looking at it. But it's really good and I have to notice the change in my body since I have reintroduced carbs back into my diet as I have lost five pounds so quickly, it's ridiculous. I'm constantly hungry, which Anya says my metabolism means my metabolism is burning up so pretty fast. Um, I've loads of energy and have been having headaches, which is really strange because I thought if I I'd never had headaches before, maybe I'm just stressed or something. Oh, my mom's. And Milo has just done something amazing that I did not know that my dad had taught him to do. Right, okay, hold on. Let's... She's there, but she doesn't want to be on camera. I love Let her baby in. She's so cute! This is Peter. She's so cute. She's the most beautiful little girl ever. I don't love her face. Look at her right now. This is Saturday's lunch. Uh, baby potatoes, onion, spinach, and a chicken breast with them. Arm straight. That's it. Come on. <laughs> Keep your arms by your side. There. Sunday dinner, love it. Yummy, 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 I love gravy. Delicious. My dad's a legend. So I've been craving chocolate and so sugar all weekend. So the legend ran out and brought me three of these to keep myself right so I don't go too far off track if I do have a little bit. This one is the first time I've tried the dark chocolate and mint full fill and it is amazing. 